blessed with quite a few condecoraciones in the last uh, two days with a couple more to go. Um, and um, it's not that hard to find the words to say to, you know, in those events. Um, but this one's hard. I'm going to a job that I expect to like a lot, and that will be important, and that occasionally will touch on Honduras and maybe be able to help Honduras. And I hope um, that here you will keep the teamwork that you've developed yourselves and um, give Ambassador Nealon the warm welcome when he comes and help him get oriented. For those of you who write memos, just remember that um, an incoming ambassador needs more information than an outgoing ambassador, so uh, you probably have to brief him a little bit more. But um, I expect he'll be a, a fine ambassador with his own special style, and uh, he'll need to adapt to a new person's style, but um, I'm sure it will be um, uh, very successful. And in the interim, and actually always, um, you have Julie, and um, She'll be the transition between us. She knows all your issues, and um, and she'll be able to brief the ambassador as well. So you can always go to Julie. That's what she's there for, and um, that will be very good. Um, I want to thank you for uh, all of the work you've done and also all of the friendship you've given. Um, I, the atmosphere in this embassy is very nice. And that's, uh, it's not a given, it's something that everybody works at. Um, you guys do some absolutely terrific work. Um, even when uh, President uh, Hernandez is criticizing us, he knows that, he knows that. <laughs> and so um, I know uh, uh, the United States will continue to be very successful with all of you uh, working here. So um, perhaps I've, I've said enough, uh, Things. I, my goal is to get around and say goodbye personally to every one of you tomorrow, or as many of you who may be in your office at the time I pass by. So that will take some of the morning and some of the afternoon. And uh, I am seeing the Attorney General tomorrow. If you have anything I need to raise with us, <laughs> <one last> time. <laughs> um, I have, uh, there, there are three people who don't usually get a lot of mention. And so I have little token gifts for them, and I hope they're all here. Um, uh, and these are uh, the people that help us in the front office. So is Denitra here? No. Yes. She's coming. <laughs> Denitra is currently holding down two jobs at one time. She's. Um, She's still uh, the OMS in the economic section, but she's also the OMS um, for Julie, or for the DCM, for the time being. And uh, that's not that easy to do, and, and so just want to thank you. <laughs> and is Robert around? He's still upstairs. Let's see. That just shows you. Okay. But Jessica's here. <laughs> so, um, just uh, so that you're not too curious. This is uh, Vermont maple syrup that we're giving to them. <laughs> if you need something sweet, you should go find them. <laughs> Maybe they'll share. <laughs> uh, but anyway, thank you. The work, uh, you know, we do such important work in this country um, to uh, give up economic and social opportunity to people, to strengthen um, institutions of government, to uh, work on security and try to make a more secure place. Um, you know, when you see the, the uh, unaccompanied children go to the U.S., you know it's still not enough. But what I've been telling the Hondurans all along is um, 
this isn't the United States. We're not in charge of Honduras. We can support what the Hondurans do. And when I say the Hondurans, I mean not just the government, but also the society. And so if, if you can push out one, me one message, the one message is that everybody needs to be involved and then we can help and we'll have more success than we've had. I think Honduras deserves better. It deserves to be prosperous, democratic, secure, without drugs and without corruption. And uh, that's, so that's my party message, but now let's party. Thank you.